Extravasation of neutrophils. White blood cells circulate in the blood, searching for pathogens within our bodies. Neutrophils, the most abundant type of white blood cell, patrol the blood for signs of infection. When inflammation is detected, neutrophils become sticky and roll along the capillary wall, adhering to it and eventually squeezing out of the vessel. This entire process is called extravasation. Extravasation begins when chemokines are released by immune cells at a site of injury or inflammation, activating the endothelial cells of nearby capillaries to express adhesion molecules. Neutrophils respond to the adhesion molecules by expressing counter-receptors, which produce a weak interaction between the neutrophil and endothelial wall. The neutrophil adheres slightly to the vessel wall, rolling along the surface. This movement is possible through unique molecular interactions between neutrophils and the endothelial cells. The neutrophils are slowed down by the formation of weak transient bonds between Sialuus X, a carbohydrate expressed by neutrophils, and selectins, adhesion molecules produced by endothelial cells. The force of blood flow causes neutrophils to roll along the endothelium, causing new interactions to form while old ones break. Eventually, tight binding occurs when integrins known as LFA1 on the neutrophils undergo a conformational change, causing them to bind firmly with endothelial adhesion molecules called ICAM1. With the neutrophil firmly adhered, diapodesis, the process of neutrophils exiting between endothelial cells, can begin. Once outside the blood vessel, the neutrophil migrates to the infection, guided by chemical signals.